The iPhone 7 houses Apple's new processor chip, the A10 Fusion. It has four computing cores, two high-performance processors and two high-efficiency cores. Apple said the new chip is 40% faster than the last Gen A9 chip. Apple also has a new 6-core graphics processing unit in the phone, which is 50% faster than the GPU in the A9 chip. The design of the phone looks roughly similar to the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6s. Apple has typically updated the design every two years, but is foregoing that redesign this update cycle. Most noticeably, the iPhone 7 has concealed the antenna bands on the back. The iPhone 7 now comes in a glossy jet black finish, along with a softer black, gold, silver and rose gold. Apple has opted for what it calls a solid-state design for the button, to help make the iPhone 7 more waterproof, and also allow users to customize different kinds of haptic feedback for notifications, ringtones and more. Ironically, Apple's engineers were able to fit a taptic engine into the phone to power the new home button, thanks to the new space they had from removing the headphone jack. Despite outrage over the disappearance of the headphone jack from Apple's phones, the new home button runs the risk of being a second turn-off for iPhone 7 customers. That's because, for now at least, some of the first few people to get their hands on the new phone have said that at first blush, they didn't like it. That chip is being described as custom hardware that uses ultra-low power Bluetooth and keeps the two earbuds in sync. According to Apple, the W1 chip has dual optical sensors and accelerometers in each AirPod that work with the W1 chip to detect when the AirPods are in your ears, so they only play when you're ready to listen. You access Siri with a double tap to the AirPods and select and control your music, adjust volumes and check your battery life with voice commands. An additional accelerometer in each AirPod detects when you're speaking, enabling a pair of beam-forming microphones to focus on the sound of your voice. Apple adds, filtering out external noise to make your voice sound clearer than ever before. AirPods work with non-Apple Bluetooth audio devices, but you can't access their special features unless you're using them with an Apple device running iOS 10, WatchOS 3 or MacOS Sierra. As an Apple rep obliquely put it, AirPods do work with non-Apple devices via Bluetooth. You lose the magic as a result. We'll have to dig a little deeper into that comment while playing Barry Manilow's Could It Be Magic once we get a review sample, but at least AirPods are compatible with legacy iPhones, not just the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus.